Hi guys, Mindstone here, and today I'll be showing you how to do Heroic Gothic the Harvester using a priest deck. Well, Gothic has some pretty OP hero power, but he has to use it every turn. So he will be drawing one card and getting one mana crystal every single turn. Which means that he's going to go fatigue rather quickly. We are obviously looking to capitalize upon this, so I've built a stalling deck with a few fatigue tools in it, but overall a stall deck to make sure that he kills himself, actually. And that will happen if I just live. This one can get really scary, so you better kill that. Dancing Zold's really OP, I guess, because, well, you get a strong minion. But he'll have some really tough stuff because he really ramps up in mana quickly. So I think the hardest period is when you're like on 5 or 6 mana, he's like a 10 mana, you just have to deal with it. And he will have cards constantly. But he might just burn some of them if he doesn't get to use all of them. That's pretty nice. So at this point he has 8 cards, that means he draws for 10 next turn. Which means if I just do this, he loses some cards. See, I don't have anything I want to do. So one thing is burned, and another thing is burned. Uh, that's not so good. That's really not so good. All right. If I just go like this, I guess. That does kill everything. Alright. Well, there's the thing where he mills himself with this matchup, and there's the stuff that is spawned to kill you. Well, you can actually use this for your advantage. Uh, sometimes you can. Because you have buffs. Obviously, your first prize is going to be not dying. But when that first priority is fulfilled, you are looking to, well, start hitting him in the face with these. That's why you have stuff like Turn of Argus, because that creates really strong minions. And when he does that stuff, just be happy, because, yeah. I don't know why he does it. Obviously he shouldn't. I think we can all agree about that. Now I'm just going to blow the circle of healing and get this guy to full HP. And he'll have a 10 10 to deal with and a fatigue in 9 cards, which is like not so many turns. Yeah, that's fine. That one doesn't matter. Oh well, it's 3, it's not bad. They do hit you f for some in the phase, but to be honest, it's not that bad. I don't think I need to use the Villain's Chosen on this guy yet. You're obviously looking to not buff your stuff too much or they get corrupted and die. Like, well, there's not a part of it in the history, but it did die. Hmm. I am not insanely happy with the situation right now. But really, it's alright. He is slowly dying because he just keeps milling himself. Uh, we have corruption once again. That just means it's going to die. That's not a big deal. Okay. Yeah, that's expected, really. The play is probably just going to be nicely and simply killing his stuff. And as you see, guys, it's really not near hot. It's not a hard boss as long as you just well play it it cleverly with your stuff. You should be really well off. I've been putting some cards, well, 
on some cards in a deck that could have been improvement maybe. I think that I'm playing what's it called? Uh Dancing Swords. Where probably I should honestly be playing okay soul right there. But I'm thinking that I can do this with Dancing Swords, so why would I include a rare card in the deck when I can do it with the common card that the eventual rewards you with? My goal is to make my decks as cheap as possible so most of you guys can actually use them. And I kind of put an honor in that, in completing the heroic challenges with, well, as cheap decks as possible. Because, well, I just think that it makes that more people can, well, watch the guide and be happy about it, I guess. And there you see the cold lights coming. And he'll be drawing some cards. And he's probably not going to be all happy about that. I don't know if he dies, but he gets quite a bit of damage in the face. So he dies next turn, whatever it happens. So now I can basically just end my turn, and I win. At 30 HP. Mind you. So, it's not a hot boss, in any way. This, de this boss is definitely doable with other well, classes and setups, but I think that you just want to stall, and I think Priest does that really well because they have strong removal, and yeah, well, overall just a good variety of stuff. So yeah, I think that just works well. I hope you guys enjoyed the guide, and I will see you in my next video.